Chanzi kundi ra. Mana mese mbona ringa ringa jizito ikuire kujire wa. Kani kwa wani mese nki mese kwa wana zije kumiran kwa wana ni nazi vite mese zira tanga zicha. Mese ni huu mani imbana na na zivo ni hongka mani mese kuzisha ni. Kama ni wandu kuna ako mese kwa mani imbana na zivo ni. It's our natural treasure that we all have to protect. It's all about teamwork. And of course, each piece makes a difference. To track Gorilla, not easy. I follow Gorilla every day. We do patrol around of Gorilla just to make sure that there is no illegal activities. When we reach where Gorilla are, we take GPS coordinates, so and uh, we record every, every, every sign we see in a Gorilla. My grandfather uh, was a poacher. His target was a bushmeat, not a Gorilla. So, but you know, sometimes our baby Gorillas were the victim. But now, I'm benefiting from a Gorilla. In generation, no more potter in our family. When we see maybe one Igorilla is sick, is getting a wood, so uh, we call uh, the vet, team of vets, to come for intervention. We have to make sure that every time they give us a call, we are ready to pick it, we are ready to respond. So we are on call almost 24 hours a day. Our daily work is uh, life-saving of mountain gorillas and eastern lowland gorillas. We do all our clinical work in this forest. We don't take animals outside the park. All service you can get from the hospital, we provide that service here. You didn't have to judge how group reacts and how much it takes to finish your procedure and whether the group moves or not, because we are communicating with trackers who are sort of protecting us from gorillas to attack when they're doing the procedure. such big and strong creature, but at the same time can be so gentle and uh, peaceful. There's a transfer of their calm and peaceful nature right back to you. And most of these gorillas today, we know from day one when they were born, over a whole lifetime, we, uh, we can follow them and see how they develop. We uh, record life history data like births, deaths, when do individuals change group, how old do they get. That allows us to use these data for understanding the population dynamics and to understand better where this population is going. Have to also keep an eye on the habitat and changes over time. Conservationists have been realizing that it's absolutely crucial to involve communities who live around these natural resources. 
Rwanda has been very successful with this and has put a lot of effort in to uh, provide people around the park the opportunity to become part of the conservation efforts. Mm, it's a force of uh, over uh, 300 uh, uh, people employed by you know uh, by the park directly but also uh, communities uh, who are associated uh, with the uh, tourism, especially porters. There are over 300 as well. All the people feel that kind of passion to work together, and uh, that is uh, uh, what makes uh, this conservation successful. Now we live in a village where we got the water, easy. Where we have electricity. Every kid is going to school. That's why every people here in Rwanda, especially the local community, they are improving in the conservation because they know how this park, how gorilla are important to them. Recently, mountain gorillas have been upgraded from critical endangered to endangered. We should not lose the focus. We should keep doing what we are doing until we reach a point where we say this is a self-sustained population. This only population of great apes that is growing at 4% every year. We don't want to conserve to protect the park with the guns. We want to uh, protect and conserve this park with the people who understand why and who take their responsibilities as well to achieve sustainable conservation. <laughs>